Hey everybody, it's your man Fitman, head performance and physique coach right here in Roslyn at the Fitman Performance and Physique Center and an NGA Pro natural bodybuilder and the winner of the 2022 Mr. Natural Philadelphia competition. Thought I would throw that into the intro this time. In today's topic, we're going to get into why you do not need to put clamps on your bench press when you are performing the bench press. Now, I have seen too many calamities online involving the bench press and involving clamps. You see, if you are bench pressing by yourself and you try to get out, you know, eke out an extra rep or two, but you get pinned and you've got clamps on the barbell, how are you going to get yourself out of danger? You have to roll the bar down your body, but check this out. What if you are too fatigued to roll it down? Your pecs are tired. Your arms are tired and now you're trapped, what are you gonna do? You better hope that bar don't roll up towards your neck and choke you out, bro. But we can avoid the entire thing by performing the bench press with no clamps on the bar because that is the safe way to do a proper bench press. So let's get into the video demonstration by yours truly that will show you exactly what to do and what not to do when you are performing the bench press. Now I've seen too many brothers on YouTube, on Instagram, on social media, doing bench presses with clamps on the bar. And then these brothers is getting stuck. What is the sense of doing that? Because if you are benching, and let's say you get to failure in your bench press, you can't do any more reps, kaboom, right? If you've got clamps on this bar, you've got no way out. And if you've got 225, 250, 315, it don't even need to be that heavy. It could be 185, because when you're gassed, you're gassed. Now you've got a barbell on your chest with no way out. And that bar is gonna creep towards your neck. If that bar gets on your neck, well then this lights out, brother. And I don't want that for anybody in this game, okay? So let's look at what the bench is gonna look like if there's clamps on there and you get pinned, okay? I'm gonna put the clamps on real quick because I wanna show you all this because I'm just tired of seeing this happen. It's dangerous to put clamps on a bench press. There's no reason to ever do it. Especially, especially when you're benching alone. So let's say we're in a set, right? And we're taking it down to, we think that we can do 10, but in reality, we can only do nine, but we go for 10, right? So if you're by yourself and you're pressing and you go, and now you're pinned, right? If I've got these clamps on, guess what? If I tilt that bar over, the weight goes nowhere. If I tilt it this way, the weight goes nowhere. And if this is very heavy weight, I can't get out. What if the bar starts rolling back towards my neck and now I'm getting choked out? Then the only place that I'm gonna end up is the moor. I don't want y'all to end up at the moor. So we cannot bench press with clamps on. It is a total disaster waiting to happen, okay? So if y'all brothers are at home and you're bench pressing, this is what I need you all to do. Don't even think about putting these clamps on, okay? We gotta take these bad boys off so that we have a way out in case we do fail in the bench press. Now listen, I care about y'all so much. I'm filming this video after doing a horrendous like that. I ain't got nothing in the tank, but this has to be addressed. So what I'm gonna do, let's get back into the bench. So let's say we're doing the same exact thing. We, we're going for 10 but we could only do nine, right? So in that ninth rep. Stuck, right? But look what I can do if I don't have any clamps on. I can tilt the barbell. The weight 
rolls off. And I get saved, okay? I get to keep my life. It's that simple, okay? And I'm out of it. And that's what y'all brothers need to do when it comes to bench pressing by yourself, okay? It's really simple. We gotta stop putting these clamps on this bench because a lot of y'all is getting that bar caught on the neck. And if you got 200 pounds on your neck, 185 on your neck, 135 on your neck, and you can't get it off your neck, it's all over, bro. Okay, it's all over. And I don't wanna read that story. I don't wanna see that on a website, on, on some news website. I don't wanna see it on, on Glenside Local. I don't wanna see it on, on Around Amber. I don't wanna see it. So brothers, when you're bench pressing, keep the clamps off the bar. It's a safety precaution. The weight is not gonna shift during the exercise, okay? Keep the clamps off the bar. Because if you do get clamped up, disaster could happen. I'll take y'all back to, to 2011. I did this. I was at a gym called Horsham Fitness. This was my first foray into being an independent contractor as a trainer. This is long before I got my own gym. I had designs on it, but I didn't know how it was gonna happen at the time. And Horsham Fitness was open 24 hours a day. So I drove up, drove up to Horsham Fitness. It's midnight. I'm getting it in on the bench. Now, mind you, I was only benching 155. A buck 55 is not a heavy bench at all. But I tried to get to 10. I couldn't make it. I was trapped. And it was clamped. So yeah, that little hint of panic went through my body. And I had to really maneuver and battle to get that buck 55 off me. But what if it had been 175? What if it had been 200? What if it had been 225? Maybe I'm not delivering this conversation and this warning to you right now. So we gotta play it safe. No clamps on the barbell bench press from this point forward to save yourself, my iron brothers. So there it is. Follow exactly what you saw in the video, which is not using any clamps on the bench press. And if you end up in a situation where you do fail, where you do get pinned, it happens to the best of us, you will have a way out. You will live to fight another day because I don't want to read the story in the Glenside Local. I don't want to read the story in Around Ambler about any lifter any bodybuilder, natural bodybuilder, any athlete dying because they got trapped in the bench press when it is completely preventable. So when you are benching, no clamps. You don't need them. The weight's not gonna slide off during the exercise. Be smart and be safe. And most importantly, you'll be alive because I've seen some of these brothers get trapped and they are desperately fighting for their lives to get out of it. And I don't want that to happen to anybody. And the solution to that not happening is not using any clamps when you bench. Thanks for checking out the video. Hit your man, fit man. Holla at a trainer right here in Roslyn when you see me at the center.